my name is Connor Ellis. Uh, today I will be discussing proof by induction uh, using this example right here. So the question that we are going to be taking a look at is the divisibility of 9 to the n minus 1 by 8 for any integer n is greater than 0. And we'll take a look at the formal definition of that in a second. So we can write the formal parameters of this claim as such. We claim p of n to be true such that 8 divides 9 to the n minus 1 for all n, for all n that exist as a member of the set of all positive integers. So for this proof, we will be using weak induction. So weak induction means that we assume the particular statement in the hypothesis holds for all k, rather than assuming it holds for all trials from the base case to k. We start off by testing our base case. Our base case for this example is going to be n equals 1. So for this example, we have p of n. P1, rather. P1 is equivalent to 9 to the 1 minus 1, which is equivalent to 8. 8 divides 8, therefore it holds. Next, we're going to state our inductive hypothesis, which we assume to be true for further uh, purposes of proof. So, for our inductive hypothesis, we set n equal to k. Uh, and this claims that 8 divides 9 to the k minus 1, and this is for n equals k. We assume that 9 to the k minus 1 is divisible by 8 in all cases. Our last step in this proof is our inductive step. Now, our inductive step is going to claim that our equation holds true for any n equals k plus 1. Assuming our hypothesis is true, we expect p k plus 1. We expect this to claim that 8 divides 9 to the k plus 1 minus 1. So for our inductive step, this is what we are trying to prove. This is also where um, the arithmetic comes in. So by the rules of exponents, We can make this equivalent to 9 times 9 to the k minus 1. Also, according to our hypothesis, by definition of a multiple, we can substitute any 9 to the k minus 1 with 8n. So we have a 9k right here. So substituting this for 8n plus 1, we get 9 times 8n plus 1 quantity. Minus one. Now, if we distribute the 9, that is equivalent to 72n plus 9 minus 1, which, of course, by addition, simplifies to 72n plus 8. If we divide this by 8, we get 8 times 9n plus 1. This arithmetic proves that 9 to the k plus 1 minus 1 is equivalent to 8 times the quantity 9n plus 1. This will always be divisible by 8 for any integer n that is greater than 0. Thus, by weak induction, our claim is proved. As a quick recap, we stated our base case of n equals 1. We stated our inductive hypothesis of n equals k, and we proved our inductive step of n equals k plus 1. Using these three steps, we were able to prove this claim that 8 divides 9 to the n minus 1 for any n that is greater than 0 and is also an integer.